Hi there and welcome back to the Der Grenadier YouTube channel for another video. Today I'm going to do a quick little video about shoulder boards, what to look out for and some improvements that you can do on the cheaper kind of shoulder boards, which is the vast majority. So these are shoulder boards that I own. Some of them have been used, some of them have not been used, some of them have been aged, some of them have not been aged. Uh, but this is what I use uh, or use for display in my room. These right here are shoulder boards that I don't recommend. These are shoulder boards that are middle segment, usable but not the best. And these are good ones that I definitely recommend and these will uh, come later as an example for something but we're going to start with these shoulder boards that you don't want to buy these are made by Nestof and as you can see they are not good the wool is very very ugly the edge of the Waffenfarbe is uneven very thick it's not finished correctly in the bottom here. Uh, this should be folded inwards. They reinforce the back here with black canvas on the edge because the wool is of such bad quality that it's not strong enough for shoulder boards, um, which makes it very, very bad. The canvas is also very ugly. Um, don't buy shoulder boards from Nestoff. Uh, for, um, in the same category, we've also got these made by Schusters. Um, these came with my uniform. I love my uniform. I like Schusters uniforms, but their shoulder boards are not of the best quality. Again, the edge is not finished very nicely. Uh, it's better than Nestoff, but it's definitely not the best. These are not good enough. What is good enough? I would say it starts with Gavin, as per usual. Uh, Gavin is very good at uh, not the best quality stuff, but cheap stuff. So they don't cost that much and you will see that in their products. Uh, but they are mostly usable most of the time. They use wool that is maybe not the most beautiful, but it ages reasonably good uh, for the most part, especially in their newest products. Uh, they have the correct sewn in edges. Um, the rayon is reasonably well finished and it ages more or less like you would want to. The only problem they have, or only uh, the problem that they have, is that their edges fray as with their uniforms, which is not the worst thing. You can just cut the fraying edges off, but it is something that you might want to know. These are also made by Gavin. Uh, Basically the same uh, kind of wool, same kind of rayon, same construction, uh, but these are Falschirm Jäger uh, shoulder boards, uh, same quality basically. These are made by an unknown vendor. Uh, I bought these in Cine. They were cheap, but their construction is reasonably good. Um, the rayon and wool is okay. And the edges are sewn in correctly and they age reasonably nice so you don't need to pay a lot of money for a reasonably good shoulder boards uh, but you want to look out for these details all right so these are bad these are okay but what is good what is the good quality stuff the best quality stuff that you can buy when it comes to shoulder boards and i'm going to recommend these and these are made by elsano and Elsenau also makes these nice late war types with the single strip and no backing of wool on the, on the main part of the shoulder board. And he uses beautiful combinations of, difficult, of different kind, kinds of wool, uh, which makes for a really nice combination. His rayon is also very nice, uh, the Waffenfarbe I mean. And he also makes these uh, late war uh, Falco 44 shoulder boards. Or these really grey ones with Italian wool backs. 
Um, again, the Waffenfarbe, very beautiful. And these are great, these are beautiful, I like these a lot. I want more of these, but they are expensive. They cost uh, 30 euros per pair when I bought them, which is uh, years ago. Uh, so you might not want to pay that kind of money, then this is also fine if you don't want to be the top tier of your nectar. But these are very, very nice. Especially for uh, the kind of money that you pay, because they are expensive, but you do get better quality and more attention to detail. And then we have the last pair of shoulder balls that I want to talk about. These. These are old Sturm shoulder balls. And I like these because they have the correct construction, mostly. Uh, they have the middle reinforcement of stitching there. They have nice canvas. Uh, the Waffenfarbe is also quite good, um, but it's wool, not rayon, I think. Uh, and I especially like the old wool. But as you saw, might, saw, might have seen, uh, the edges are not sewn in correctly. And this is why I made this video in the first place, because I was working on this one. Uh, and I fixed that problem. And I have sewn in the edges. And with some aging, these old Sturm shoulder boards can be very nice. This little tool is made to tear open seams. Like the seams on these shoulder boards. And that's what I have done here. I have cut open the entire back seam. I tucked in the uh, Waffenfarbe and then I restitched this with my show sewing machine. And that was my product project for today. And that inspired me to make this video because you have bad shoulder boards, you have reasonably good shoulder boards, you have very good shoulder boards, and then you have the old stuff or shoulder boards that are okay, but they have some flaws. Uh, and you can fix these flaws uh, if you are quite handy with a sewing machine or you know how to properly age stuff. So that's what I want to give you, uh, tell you today. Be prepared to put some effort in, put some research in, uh, learn some new things, learn some new techniques, and you can improve your stuff very, very well. So, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, I thought it was important to make this video because the shoulder boards are usually the first thing you change out or alter on your uniform when you buy a new one. Uh, it's something that we all recognize, I think. Uh, improving stuff like this is very important. And as I just said, be prepared to improve your stuff. Do some research, uh, buy a sewing machine, uh, age your uniform parts. Uh, it can be very important and if you put that extra effort in you will see the difference in your impression in the end i am going to continue my little project i hope you enjoyed please like comment subscribe all that stuff if you feel like it of course and i will see you in the next video goodbye